My apologies for that, y'all. Uh, I got cut off. So I'm just continuing from where I was at. What I'm going to do is put a dimension and delete that. And I'm going to dimension this right here. Sorry. I like that right there. Um, as we can see, we have all of our necessary dimensions. We have our height. We have our depth. We have the change in depth right here. We have our block, or I'm sorry, our change in depth right here, two and a half, 0.75. You can either, either do this on the bottom or top, doesn't really matter. We have our center point from the circle, which is three inches from this edge. Uh, oh, we have to create our center of the circle from this bottom edge right here. So what I might do is drag this out. Sorry. delete this because we already have it right here this to right here two inches right um, we have our circle and we're good to go so what we're gonna do here is first let me Edit the dimensions, right? So I'm going to type in dim style. Now we're in standard. Modify. I want to make sure I'm in decimals. Now, I don't want to go past. Uh, I don't have an answer. Sorry. Let me see here. Yeah, I'm gonna take off my trailing zeros. I'm gonna do three. Right now they have four, so I'm gonna do three. I'm just gonna click okay so we can see this right here, okay? Now, uh, zero suppression. I wanna take off my trailing zeros. I'll take off my leading zeros as well. Let's see how that looks, okay? Close. There we go. So, that looks much neater, right? We kind of see here is three, two, 0 0.75, 1.25, 6.625, 2.5. Now, if you want, I know the drawings in fractions. If you really want to change it like that, what you can do is go here, unit format, primary units, unit format, click OK, change the unit format to fractions, and it'll come out like that, okay? I know most of you don't want to do it like that, so that's fine. Fractions or decimal points, uh, decimals, I'm sorry, is perfectly fine. All right, even though I do think fractions looks a little better, but let's get to it. So we want to create our isometric drawing. I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my construction layer. Um, I'm going to create a box, okay? So I had to turn on ortho. I have to turn on iso draft, and I'm going to start drawing, okay? I'm going to start from right here. I'm going to type in my height, which we know is 4. Change my plane. Go across 6. Down 4. Close that right back up. Now, I'm going to work on the side. 1.25. 4. Close it back up. Change my plane again. 
six or right there. Now, I'm going to delete some lines. There we go. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to offset. I'm sorry, I can't offset. I'm in ISO. I'm going to copy this right here. I'm also going to copy this line right here. So we have our center point of our circles. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start tracing out my objects, right? So I'm going to go to object layer property. I'm going to do this a little quick. 0.625. 0 0.75, 0 0.625, 2.5, 0.625, 0.75, 0.625, 0.625, 0.625, 0.625, 0.625, 0.625, 0.625, 0.625, 0.625, 0.625, 0.625, 0.625, 0.625, 0.625, 0.625, 0.625, 
And that's it for today. Take care.